All right, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today we're going to review the TW200 Yamaha. It's a street dirt bike enduro, street legal enduro. Um, it's got the knobby tires here, so you can see it's great for off-roading. Um, it's a 200cc. This is the 2013. It's air-cooled. Um, it's not fuel-injected. Um, so that's one thing to consider. The brakes, if you notice, the front brakes are disc brakes and the back brakes are drum brakes. So that's one thing uh, if you stepped up to a higher model that the higher model has that this one does not. Um, there's no Kickstarter on this one, so that's something to consider too. A lot of dirt bikes do have the Kickstarter. It comes with a skid plate, which is nice. Um, the XT250 does not, so that's something to consider. Uh, again, the knobby tires are real nice. If you're going to go off-roading here. Um, let's go through different functions here. The um, display here, the analog display, not, not an LCD screen. Higher ones do have the LCD screen. You get neutral, high beam, left, right. Standard controls, starter, um, high beam, low beam, left, right. Gas tanks, metal. That's... Uh, in order to be street legal, it has to be a metal gas tank. That's key locked here. Um, as far as driving, I'm going to turn it on, get, give it a little test drive here so you can hear it, see how it runs. It it's, goes maybe 10 to 12 in first gear, but you have to shift up. So depending on your trails you do, uh, that's the one thing to consider. The XT250, you, you can probably go up to about 16 to 18 before you have to gear up to second gear. So if you're doing jaw trail riding, that's one thing to consider. The, the pros on this bike is it's very low. It's one of the lowest kind of street bikes you can buy as far as enduro style. It's uh, 31 inches off the ground. Very low, you know, if you're short, very nice to have flat feet in case you get a back up in a trail or something. Um, so let's give this a, a test drive here. You're going to turn it on, the choke in, and we're going to make sure that the kickstand is up. That's one nice feature actually. If you leave the kickstand down and it's not in neutral, it will not start up. Uh, so make sure you get your kickstand up. Turns right on. Sounds nice. Nice sound. Doesn't stall out. Um, if it's cold, you, you might have to pull the choke out, which is under here. It's a little bit of an inconvenient spot, but you can you can get at it. All right, let's go for a test drive. Just see how it sounds, how it runs through the woods. It's a little bit tricky to find uh, neutral there, but not too bad. So all in all, really nice bike. Um, it, it's a great beginner bike. Uh, the price is just right. Well, this 2013 was 4,100. Um, that's great for a bike. Zero miles on it. Got a brand new. Have about 100 miles on it now. Um, sounds great. Runs great. If you want a little bit more power, I would recommend upgrading to the XT250. It's about an inch higher off the ground. But you get that extra power, which is nice. Um, you go through the trails, or if you're riding on the street also. Um, but this is a really nice, fun bike. Not too many cons with it um, that I can think about here. So hopefully that's uh, that's all you need. And the vibration is, is very low on this bike too. That's, that's one of the pro. The handle vibration is one of the lowest. Um, on all the, the different enduro style bikes. So if you don't like a lot of hand vibration, the Yamaha's are really good for that. 
Uh, in, a, in the next video, I'm going to do a review or comparison side by side of the XT250 and uh, the TW200, uh, the differences. So if you want to check that out, that'd be great. Thanks.